today we'll be talking about a rather quiet topic, ASMR, and more importantly, ASMR videos generated by AI. Now let's start off with the basics. ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Responses, and it's this tingling sensation that you get from the top of your head to the tips of your toes when you hear certain sounds like scratches, whispers, crinkles, cracks, all those kind of things. Now, a lot of content creators have realized this effect and started creating so-called ASMR videos. As you might have guessed, they all contain all those different sounds that I mentioned, like scratches, whispers, cracks, etc. And of course, having a channel all about AI, I thought to myself, is there a way to generate those videos using AI? Well, today we're going to be answering that question, and for the purpose of this video, we'll be using Eleven Labs, which is a text-to-speech and speech-to-speech -to -speech tool for generating audio. We've covered the basics last week, so if you're interested in finding out more about Eleven Labs, feel free to click on that video. But for the rest of you, let's dive into the ASMR part of Eleven Labs. So there are three options that I've found so far for generating ASMR videos. So let's start off with the first one, and that means us, of course, jumping into the tool. So navigate yourselves to 11labs.io, and if you're already logged in, you'll see the little pop-up in the middle of the screen where you can type in your text and the AI will do the talking. Let's see that in action. I've pasted the first line of the first Harry Potter book into the little box and we're going to use Alice's voice just to see that 11 laps still works. Mr. and Mrs. Dursley of number four, Privet Drive, we're proud to say that they were perfectly normal. Thank you very much. All right, so for all of you who haven't seen 11 laps in action yet, this is basically what it does. You choose a voice, you paste your text, and you generate the speech. Now, Alice doesn't have an ASMR voice. However, we have a guy called Ethan, who we can select from the dropdown, and he does have a whisper slash ASMR voice. So we'll click on him and generate the same speech. Mr. and Mrs. Dursley of number four, Privet Drive. We're proud to say that they were perfectly normal. Thank you very much. All right. This is basically what ASMR videos are all about, except you would add a bit of scratching and cracking and all that. But the whispering part is exactly what we heard here. So this is our first option for creating ASMR and it's in fact the easiest option for us to create an ASMR. You can pretty much do it in one minute or less. One thing to mention though is that Eleven Labs has a couple of different models. So if you choose Ethan and he doesn't whisper, chances are you have the wrong model selected. So if you click on the voice settings, you'll see a little pop-up coming in from the right-hand side. And this allows you to configure a couple of settings of your voice, including the model behind it. So you'll see four different, at least at the time of recording this video, four different models. And we have 11 Multilingual, 11 Multilingual V2, English V1, Turbo V2. For this voice, the recommended model is 11 Multilingual V1. However, if you select something else like 11 English V1, which is the first ever model out there, you'll see that we have a little pop-up at the bottom of the screen saying recommendation. We recommend switching models to get the best quality for the selected voice. So that gives us a spoiler that something's probably gonna go wrong. So let's just check it out. Mr. and Mrs. Dursley of number four, Privet Drive. We're proud to say. All right, that is definitely not a whisper and it's definitely not ASMR. So just for your information, if you realize that Ethan is acting up and talking in a loud voice, you're probably using the wrong model. So bear that in mind. So let's move on to the second option, which is still simple, but a little more custom and a little harder to find. So click on the voices tab in the left-hand side of Eleven Labs and you'll be greeted with a screen which has a little switch at the top which says voice lab on the left and voice library on the right. So as a reminder, voice lab is used for generating voices and voice library is used for finding voices generated by other users. So for now, we're gonna look at the voice library tab and see if other creators have built a voice which does a whisper slash ASMR. What I did was search for ASMR in the search field at the top. And the first option that we see is Alice, ASMR British Whisper. And in the top left corner, you see the little yellow tick, which means that it's been generated by the professional AI voice generator, 
which comes with the most expensive package of 11 labs. However, this person was nice enough to share the voice that she's created with the community. And so you can see in the top right corner of Alice's little box that 27 people have used that voice and 13.4 thousand audio clips have been generated. So we're going to use Alice's voice to see if she can generate voice like an ASMR creator slash artist. Let's have a look at the sample first. I'm Alice from England and I'm an ASMR voice available for any of your needs. Sounds great. That's exactly what we need for an ASMR video. So we have Ethan with a male voice and Alice with a female voice. Now what we can do is add this voice to our voice lab, which we'll do. Finish. And if we move over to the voice lab tab at the top, you'll see that now on top of all the different voices that I've created in the past, which include the voices from last video and some which I was testing, we now see Alice ASMR British Whisper, which we can now use to generate our speech. Let's use a different piece of text. Time is the longest distance between two places. Perfect. So that is ASMR voice option two. And now let's move on to the last option, which requires the most effort. Still not a lot of effort. I mean, I'm talking two minutes of effort, but it does yield the best results and it will actually generate our whispering voice. So what we need to do is record one minute of ourselves speaking in a voice that we want to create. So if you also want to create a shouting voice or a regular voice, you can do that. But because we're doing ASMR voices today, we're going to whisper for one minute into the microphone and generate a voice based on that. Now, 11 Labs recommends one minute up to three minutes of recordings. Anything after that doesn't really benefit the model that much. So because I'm using a Mac, I am going to use QuickTime Player, which is the simplest solution. And I will open it up. I'll select File and New Audio Recording. Click on the red button and start my recording. So I'll read the book for one minute. And once I'm done, we'll upload the sound. Chapter one, the boy who lived. Mr. and Mrs. Darsley of number four Privet Drive were proud to say that they were perfectly normal. Thank you very much. Mr. Darsley made drills. Now, because QuickTime Player has actually generated an M4A file, we'll need to use a tool to convert it to MP3 because that's what um, 11 Labs accepts. So what I use is a tool called convertio.co, which Really, you can use whatever you want, but this is a simple one and it has a very nice user interface. You just drop your file in. That's my ASMR file. You select the extension type that you want to create, which I'll just use MP3. Wait a couple of seconds and your new MP3 file will be generated. Just download that. And let's move back to 11 labs. And in the voice lab, click on the add generative or cloned voice and you'll see a little pop-up in the middle of the screen which has voice design, instant voice cloning, voice library and professional voice cloning. The last one is how Alice got created but this is expensive and we're not going to do that. So we'll select the second option which is instant voice cloning and we're going to use our little mp3 file that we've generated and drop it into the box and give it a name which is me ASMRing. You have to click the little I hereby confirm that I have all necessary rights or consent to upload. It's your voice, so you can do whatever you want. And add voice. And it's as simple as that. Now your voice is created and you can use it for your speech generation. So let's give it a shot. I'm going to use a little line from The Little Prince and let's see how my voice sounds. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. Okay, so this is our ASMR voice. Now, it's not perfect yet, so we're going to go into the voice settings tab and see what we can do to it. So we have three sections, stability, similarity and style exaggeration. With this one, I think that style exaggeration will be an important factor because we do want to exaggerate the style because the style is whispering. So that is our main goal. So I will move it up to 50% because apparently anything above 50% can reduce the quality of the sound. 
So let's see what happens with 50%. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. Okay, there's a huge difference between what we heard before and what we're hearing now. I feel that the gaps are larger between sentences, which I kind of like and it makes for a more relaxing vibe. I'm going to play around with the similarity because the thing with this parameter is that if the similarity is a bit high, um, a lot of the different audio quality problems that you might have introduced into your original voice might be reflected in the voice that is being generated. So if there were any issues, like for example, when you're whispering, you are gonna make those kind of spitting sounds into the microphone, that is gonna affect the audio quality. So I'm gonna drop it to 50% as well, and I'll see if that affects the sound. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. I think that's a little bit cleaner. For comparison reason, let's move it to 100% so you can see what I had in mind before. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. So you can see that there's a bit more of that hissing sound and you feel like my mouth is right at the microphone. I feel like the previous one is, was a bit more pleasant to the ear. But of course that's up to the receiver of the sound. I'll move it back to 50% anyways and I'll have a look at the stability. The higher the stability, the more boring the voice. So there's uh, fewer ups and downs and everything is intonated in a very similar manner. And I think for ASMR videos, although I'm not an expert, because to be quite frank, I don't really watch a lot of ASMR videos at all. Um, but I think if the voice is a bit more stable and predictable, I think it gives for a more relaxing and soothing atmosphere. But let's, let's, let's see what happens. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. Okay. That's exactly what I had in mind. It's very linear, I think. Everything is exactly how uh, you expect it and there's no surprises in the sound. Now for comparison reason, I'm gonna give you 0% stability so you can see the difference again. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. All right, see, so the voice now was bumping up and down, up and down and so forth. And so I believe my ideal parameters would be 100% for stability, 50% for similarity and style exaggeration. And so now you can use this voice to generate all your different ASMR videos. And of course, remember to add the little cracks and crinkles and scratches and all those different sounds. But this is basically how you would use 11 Labs to generate ASMR videos. So that concludes our little experiment. If you're planning on using ASMR and you happen to be extremely successful at it and use 11 labs in my little video here as a demonstration, don't forget about me and buy me a coffee sometime, all right? Take care for now and I'll see you next time.